This is Twit. All right. Hacking a brand new Mac remotely right out of the box, Lily Hay Newman. This is, yeah, it's another one of those uh, black hat demos. It uses Internet Apple's... Abstract. It uses Apple's device enrollment program and its mobile device management platform. Uh, this is so that employees can walk through the customized IT setup of a Mac without having to get IT involved. However, uh, according to Jesse Endall, chief security officer of Fleetsmith, which is a Mac management firm, and Mac Belanger, a staff engineer at Dropbox, we found a bug that allows us to compromise a device and install malicious software before the user is even logged in for the very first time. <laughs> By the time they're logging in, by the time they see the desktop, the computer's already compromised. Good news, there was a fix in 1013.6 High Sierra last month. But there are still plenty of devices with older versions of the operating system that will be arriving. And, uh, you know, I, I presume if you, re, if you wipe your drive and start over, you're also vulnerable. It's part of the setup. Uh, the way it works, it checks in with the uh, Apple servers to say, I'm a MacBook with this serial number. Do I belong to someone? What should I do? And if the serial number is enrolled in that Dapper MDM, then it, a predetermined setup experience, uh, 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 sequence happens, which I guess <laughs> could include malicious software. You'd have to do a man in the middle. It doesn't sound that easy. Uh, they can only demonstrate a version of it at Black Hat because Endall works at Fleetsmith, which does this kind of thing, so they can set up the server. I think this isn't something to worry about too much, and Apple I, I has fixed it. I bet you. I bet you. The, the, the one time when you really want to listen to someone who says that we, they found a bug is, "Hey, it's like three months before Black Hat. It'd be really great if you fixed this before Black Hat." Well, the good you know, news you know, is obviously they did it. notify Apple, and that's yeah. why it was fixed yeah. before Black Hat. Yeah. Yeah. There's another. It's a good, it's a good time. Um, because there's another one. This is from DefCon, I think, <laughs> which follows right after Black Hat. Um, this is uh, Patrick Wardle. We know Patrick well, right? Former NSA staffer, Mac hacker. Uh, this is using the uh, mouse key. This is one hard for Apple to fix because it uses mouse keys, which um, is mouse clicks, which is synthetic clicks. Uh, and it's part of the accessibility features, right? Yeah. And so and he's scripting. using Apple Script and uh, and uh, mouse clicks uh, to and he. <laughs> So Apple had patched the initial mouse key hack, but then he was testing it some more, and by accident, he pasted in, instead of a down and up command, you know, mouse down, mouse up command, he pasted in two mouse downs, and it turned out the system misinterpreted the second down as an up and completed the click, and so the fix it bypassed it. He says, it's this ridiculous bypass I found by incorrectly pasting code. I tripped over it because I wanted to run out and surf, and I was being lazy. <laughs> so uh, Apple that. has not yet responded to Wire's request for comment on Martel's findings. He admits he didn't actually tell Apple the details of his research ahead of his talk. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, but he says after he alerted the company, Apple shouldn't have left sloppy, exploitable bugs in the same fix. Well... <laughs> Sometimes people have to go out and surf. Yeah. Well, also, like, they rush to get the fix out, and then you have to test so many different things, and yeah. people are human I, and make mistakes. No, I, it's I fixing it. That I think that's that's why I think shame on Patrick for not telling them ahead of time. But There was also this wonderful thing, and I, I love the people at Project Zero. I think they provide a phenomenal service to the Internet. But there was <laughs> Project Zero was saying Apple should give us a bug bounty uh, because we find this stuff because we're hired by Google to find it. Which was hard to process as well. Yeah. Or give it to charities. They didn't want it for themselves. They wanted it for charity. But my understanding is that Project Zero was offered an opportunity to participate. And they said, no, we're Project Zero. So awkward to do it later.